Hello guys, my name is Jana and welcome to our Wednesday Check Lives where you can find out the truth. If you have any communication with a woman online and you find uh, yourself wondering is she is the real deal or just another scammer or is this communication is too good to be truth, I will help you with all those troubling questions. You're welcome to ask your questions, to share your stories at the chat. As well, you can uh, come to my studio and share your story if you want, and I will help you to find out the truth. Guys, today I prepared another material for you, how you can recognize scammers and how to cope uh, with all these traps, okay, for you. So I will comment, I will give you my tips here. So you're welcome. And then after this video and my comments about this topic, I will put the link to my StreamYard back, backend and you can join me. Guys, so the seven ways to avoid online dating scams is to watch for these seven sneaky red flags. With somewhere between 40 and 70% of new romantic relationships starting online on dating sites, well, these seem like an obvious choice to go shopping for love. Unfortunately, unscrupulous people take advantage of vulnerable people. I know of a man who lost $5,000. I know of a woman who lost $50,000. And I know a man who lost over $5 million. Scammers can be very sweet and charming and are often quite young and very attractive. And the next thing you know, you're up hundreds or thousands of dollars or worse and you feel like a fool. You end up shying away from dating entirely and you spend your evenings eating three-day-old leftovers in front of the TV, vowing to never go on a dating site again. Well, my friend, you deserve fresh food and you deserve an amazing woman with integrity to share it with. If you're new to my channel, I help men decode modern women so you can find, attract, and keep your keeper. My videos are for you if, well, you know, women need to learn and appreciate a lot more about men these days you can only do what you can do. Welcome to Just the Tip. Let's jump in. Watch out if, number seven, she's way better looking than you or a lot younger than you. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Because the reality is, yes, if you meet in person, there's a chance you can charm the socks right off her and some other attire. But online is a different story. A woman who hasn't met the charming real life in person you might be after something else. If you post a lot of photos that show off your financial status, whether or not you have financial resources, then you're going to attract scammers or at the minimum gold diggers. And even if you don't post those kind of photos, scammers will still prey on lonely men and will take away whatever you have for retirement. So be cautious if there's a big gap between your age or attractiveness and hers. The next red flag is one many guys fall for because you are innate heroes. Number six, at the first sign of a damsel in distress, run. You feel good helping others, especially if you can help a woman, but scammers prey on this. And even if she's not a scammer, you don't want a fixer upper. If she gives you some sob story about how hard up she is, that's your cue to run away. Key point. Even if she tells you she's dealing with it and doesn't want your help, that may just be a setup. And then she'll be sweet and saucy and eventually she'll be in a tougher spot whereby you feel compelled to offer help. And be wary if she asks for a very small amount of money. That can be a test to see how you react. Later, she'll be asking for more. Key point. Human nature is to invest more money in something that we've already invested in. Now to weed out the unsophisticated scammers, you'll want to heed the next tip. Five, move to video call as soon as possible. So women need to feel safe. And while meeting in person is ideal, she might not feel ready for that right away if she's just met you online. And messaging is good to get to know her initially, but you do need to move into a video call because you want to be able to verify her identity and be able to see face to face that she is who she says she is. So a video call can help you confirm that. And it also helps you get to know her personality and intentions. If she's resistant to a video call or makes excuses continually, that's a red flag. If she's been equally engaged in your conversations online, then you, it should be safe to suggest a video call within three to five online conversations. Assume 
guys, here is the just the great point. Thanks to Anna, the uh, streamer here yeah, with these tips. This is just a great point because you might understand that um, if you're communicating and paying for this communication, something wrong with that. Nowadays, it just shouldn't exist. Okay, just for the opportunity, just for the beginning. But uh, when you already have this exchanging of personal contacts, uh, so exactly the investment of time will be the major indicator how this lady is into you. If your goal is to meet a good man and to build some relationships, she will observe in on you, on your actions, try to discover what are you. But if she is with a serious purpose, uh, she will invest her time. If she avoiding, especially from the beginning, even not knowing you well, video chats, definitely a red flag. If she started to avoid this for a while, after a while, you have to some communication. Still, it is a red flag, but it means uh, two things. Oh, she's a scammer and don't want to invest her time to communicate for free. Or she's not into you. In both ways, you have the same um, action to move, to escape from this communication. Person who is really serious about you will invest your time, not expect anything back. The only expectation is to start decent relationship. And this is the only motivation for a good woman. And uh, you can learn about each other. And real woman, she has her duties, her obligations, her life schedule, lifestyle, with work and different kinds of interests or even kids. And she will be busy, but you will be aware of your schedule. And the schedule, it can be something like very stable. So if the person really wants the person will find a time for you. The same with you. Like if you really want something, you will find time and opportunity and resources and whatever uh, to pursue your goals, which are really important to you. So it's up to priorities. If you are not a priority, so why you should be there? It's a red flag about your level of interest to you. And uh, without interest, we cannot even discuss other sorts of things. So what the purpose of this communication? So this is a very, very good tip. And I will return to some other tips from uh, Anna um, after a while. So let's continue watching. <laughs> Guys, I pushed the wrong face. That can be a test to see how you react. Later, she'll be asking for more. Key point, human oh, nature is one many guys fall for because you are innate heroes. Number six, at the first sign of a damsel in distress, run. Wait, wait, wait. you feel good wait, helping it's... others, especially if you can help a woman. But scammers prey on this. And even if she's not a scammer, you don't want a fixer-upper. If she gives you some sob story about how hard up she is, that's your cue to run away. Key point, even if she tells you she's dealing with it and doesn't want your help, that may just be a setup. And then she'll be sweet and saucy and eventually she'll be in a tougher spot whereby you feel compelled to offer help. And be wary if she asks for a very small amount of money. That can be a test to see how you react. Later, she'll be asking for more. Guys, here as well, I want to make a pause uh, just because you should understand that a woman who interested in you seriously before real meeting and real confirmation that you in a certain relationship, I can say it's most likely a taboo to accept money, especially in as money okay she can accept like some gift or bouquet it's still money yeah you still need to spend but she cannot take an advantage from this what she can take from flowers just pleasant emotions if she really interested in these emotions if of course you send in directly not on the through the site when they doesn't deliver those flowers she make an artificial picture for one second with this bouquet and give away uh, so they in reality they doesn't even deliver this bouquet she just making a picture with this bouquet and receiving some feedback from the flower shop or something so be aware of this as well so if the woman has real communication with you and she received real flowers from you she will be glad 
yeah, about this uh, way of treatment and she probably can show these flowers later after a few days. Yeah, it, it would be an indicator that she didn't give away those flowers to flower company to spread those money like you will still receive, uh, I don't know, half of price for this bouquet and keep your bouquet and I will receive other half or something. So be aware of this. Uh, from a man who, uh, if the lady doesn't interest in, in a man, she don't have interest to receive those flowers, non-emotions from here. So um, small things and big things. Yeah, if she agreed for small things, it's already, I agree that this is a red flag just because she pretended to be humble. Do you need that? Like you mm, building some bridge of trust probably to this woman. Oh, she looks decent. She looks legit. She's so humble. She don't ask me for a big amount of money. But still she accepts it, right? And still it's uh, not what a decent woman wants to show to build a genuine relationships. So be aware of this. And uh, guys, my suggestion right here on this channel, not to send any money to a woman you never met if you stay in on uh, online communication from any kind of sites. Uh, better to be ready for this journey if you're ready to meet in person, then you can increase your relationship in a natural way. And in some point you can become this supporter or provider or make some gifts. It depends on what kind of relationships you have, what level, how uh, you can develop this relationship, both of you. So if, if it looks real, so then, okay, it's up to you, to your wishes, to your opportunities, as well to your situation. Um, you both will decide. But before real meeting, I think it is not appropriate. And I think that a woman with real intentions will even be afraid to receive any money from you just not to show that she is a gold digger not to show that she uh, she can be bought so if a woman want, has an intention to uh, build real relationships she uh, no way will show you that she is a thin a stuff what you can buy she will appreciate your courtship but it's not a uh, stuff what you can buy, okay? So you can earn uh, your feelings, your trust with your actions, with a nice communication to show your great qualities. She will be into you. Uh, so it's not a message, guys, for you to be greedy. But at the same time, you need just to be aware where you meet that woman, how long you communicate and how much you communicate in every day during the day or during the week, uh, what is your present situation in life so you can as well understand. And uh, what are your future opportunities? How soon you can meet? Is she agreeing for this meeting? Um, you will find this uh, further as well. I will stop on that moment. Key point. Human nature is to invest more money in something that we've already invested in. Now to weed out the unsophisticated scammers, you'll want to heed the next tip. Five, move to video call as soon as possible. So women need to feel safe. And while meeting in person is ideal, she might not feel ready for that right away if she's just met you online. And messaging is good to get to know her initially, but you do need to move into a video call because you want to be able to verify her identity and be able to see face to face that she is who she says she is. So a video call can help you confirm that. And it also helps you get to know her personality. Guys, here is just a great point for you to find out because you can uh, fake many things in your life, especially with pictures, even pictures can tell, can tell a lot, but still you can pretend of person you or a li like you have a lifestyle of what you don't have in reality but video call is more difficult to um, to pre present uh, another kind of lifestyle just because of time right so if you are during uh, a video call for one hour for two hours for three hours and those calls doesn't have a regular schedule 
So it would be very difficult to prepare some background. And uh, during video calls, you actually can see the real background, real lifestyle of the person. So if something is going on, you or your lady, you can prove this. Like, I'm staying at home. With video call, you can confirm that she's staying at home. I'm working as a doctor. By video call, if you can have so such uh, during her working shift. You can see that she is a doctor because she has this, uh, I don't know, special clothes, right? So, and many things you can share, show and confirm and find out. The same, she wants to know such things about you because only with your um, decent intention to have a relationship she as well interesting to find out about you everything uh according to things you describing about yourself or not and she need to find this out so that is as well great point just make some cheat sheets and intentions if she's resistant to a video call or makes excuses continually, that's a red flag. If she's been equally engaged in your conversations online, then you, it should be safe to suggest a video call within three to five online conversations. Assuming you're in the same city, you could say something like, I've enjoyed chatting with you and want to meet you in person. Are you ready to meet in person or do you prefer a quick video chat first so you can verify my photos aren't 20 years old? If you're not in the same city, then just skip that part. Key point. If you've built some rapport and she's interested in you, any woman who is interested in looking for a long-term relationship with the right person will want to meet in person sooner than later. If she says no or not yet, it could be that she's not ready, or it could be that she's not sure about you, doesn't like you, or she's... Guys, absolutely truth. Better sooner than later. Why? Just because woman who has this purpose to find a partner, to date someone. She is interesting to find out, are you compatible? Are you that man you present yourself to be? Uh, are you compatible? And uh, all these things you need to figure out. And uh, instead of building some um, fantasies or some castles from, I don't know, clouds, of course, better to find out the truth. And uh, for a woman, it would be a major indicator uh, to filter blah, blah guys from men of actions. So if a man ready for certain actions, ready to commit, ready to come to visit, of course, it's better to deal with uh, such real guys than uh, with the guys who will be this variety of keyboard and promise anything but only on paper on the chat so i agree absolutely a woman who really interesting she will uh, conform and will have the same intention and wish to meet as soon as possible even if it can happen after one week of your communication it's still possible seriously no harm from real meeting the same like you dating local people and you inviting some person for a date after the next day or a few days after you met someone at the bar or with, at, on the street. Uh, no harm from date. About, uh, I will add here, that relationships on distance after one week, of course, it would be um, too soon to rush uh, just because normal woman of course will understand their responsibility on her shoulders and she understands the cost uh, of flight and uh, like better to have some time to build some rapport some background between both of you before she will um, confirm to herself that you are respectively compatible and she can accept this responsibility that you can visit her. So in one week, of course, it would be too fast just because you you should just to communicate a bit more to find out level of your compatibilities or miscompatibilities, right? And then uh, if everything works good, after some time, after I can say one month, it would be enough time to understand, do you still have the same level of excitement about communication with each other? 
Or did you find out some red flags which will show you that probably those relationships will not work in the future? So, uh, yeah, on distance, it can be a bit time. A scammer again most women who are actually serious about finding the right person will want to meet in person within a few weeks of meeting online and engaging at the same time be careful if she wants to move too fast and that brings us to number four put the brakes on rapid advancement if she wants to meet in person right away that should be a red flag regardless of whether or not she's a scammer if she agrees with everything you say flatters you with tons of compliments or moves to sexual undertones or even overtures right away that should be a red flag for you. Either she's completely reckless or she's planning to lure you into a situation whereby you think you're in for a good time, but instead you wake up with a throbbing headache and a missing wallet. Remember, women's primary need is to feel safe. If she's speeding along without caution, that could be a red flag that she's after something else. If it's too good to Guys, I as well completely agree with that so if uh, the woman especially slavic woman from ukraine uh she will rush things it's as well should be suspicious to you uh just because first our women really like when a man is initiator of things so we rely on you and with this way we're checking your qualities you how manly you are how responsible you are what kind of men are you a man of actions or are you blah blah man uh, and she will find out so not likely that ukrainian woman will offer something first can be a hint can be a joke mm, it can be her wish but i don't think that she will seriously force uh, this intention from herself uh, she will not accept such kind of men if she will start this dominant role and guiding uh, this relationship. She will not feel much secure about this man. Um, I can say for women, it must might be a red flag uh, that uh, man is not responsible enough or not man of actions if she need to force such things. As well, security as well. Our women are more slow to build this uh, breach of trust. So for our ladies would be um, more natural to have some communication, to have any kind of uh, opinion about you, to have this, this drive, I can say, uh, can she confirm everything you said and describe about yourself? with the things you, with your behavior, with your actions. Uh, so too fast, it says, well, a red flag, just because it's not typical for our ladies. It's not typical to reality. And women need to check you, okay, to have some trust. To be true, it probably is. Or she'll video call with you right away and she is that hot chick online just to virtually seduce you and suck you into her scam. Don't let your heart or your wrong head lead you into temptation with someone you don't know yet. And this brings us to number three. Do your research before meeting. If you've had a video call or two or more and everything seems okay so far, then it's appropriate to research who she is. You've offered up your name, your social media, and maybe a professional site with limited information so she can do her recon so it's easy and appropriate for you to ask for the same. Google her name, see what comes up on social media. Does her friend list look suspicious? Are they all foreign accounts with limited info? Are there only provocative photos of herself or no real photos of herself? Does she have Guys, and here is a golden advice to you because nowadays it's easy to check on yourself. No need to pay for private investigator even to do this. You can run her photos and find out what sites uh, using her, her pictures. Not always uh, it proves uh, probably some cases, but it's more like an exception. Uh, her pictures could be stolen from her profile with some 
not legit site or agency but i can say it's more as an exception it's not something what uh, happens regularly as well her name yes her friend list is a very good tip if a woman will avoid uh exchanging of networks like facebook everyone almost everyone has like with very small percentage of exceptions yeah from very young to old people um, a by age everybody using facebook instagram TikTok. it's majority of networks what ukrainian people visit uh, using and if the lady avoiding exchanging of networks of your social page it means that she hiding something from you again provocative pictures red flag absolutely guys why you need a woman who um chasing weird goals what she can bring what kind of attention and what the purpose to posting uh, constantly these provocative pictures it shows that she's not that um <laughs> with the good goals okay or good morals or good values do you need such woman i don't think so or uh, no pictures as well i agree it's a red flag so some people can be reserved but usually no pictures from a woman who um, respect her privacy because she's happily married. So usually the types of women who are already married, they don't want we have such Ukrainian suspicions mind that if you will share your happiness, yes, someone will be jealous or compare you, wish you something, yeah, because uh, he is not at that good position of life so uh, people who already satisfied with life they don't need to prove anyone like oh look at me i'm happy so usually our networks they used in that way that we are seeking for some attention or admiration or to prove or to compete or to attract attention at least to get to know someone it's major um, goals probably yeah and a real person will post thoughts or some social responsibilities so you can see uh, the interests of this personality uh, some background no feed line or no pictures as well a red flag just because this person like why why then to have this social page at all if no information there so in which way person using this if you can find a lot of um, foreign friends as well suspicious just because it means like how you could be connected with all those people right so it should be some point which can connect you or work or she might be a skimmer so it's up to you of course how <laughs> how much you can investigate but it is possible with you with uh, simple things uh, simple information you have about the lady and many things what she sharing about yourself uh, can um, you can check yeah about place of work for example I have a few interactions these are all pink flags at minimum now if she's not ready to give you that information she may just be cautious or private but you should proceed with caution and if she won't video call with you or meet in person within the first few weeks move on two keep your personal information private. Now, even though you shared your name and where to find you online in general, you wanna make sure you don't reveal your full legal name, where you live, your email address, or your phone number right away. Key point, she may be the window dressing to a larger scam operation with a crew working the operation. Scammers use your personal information to steal your identity or commit other crimes. Now, if all this sounds guys this is a big point because such things really exist when people through middle people want to um, steal your personal data uh, in some tricky way yeah it's as well um, like mo modern uh, modern life where uh, we have a lot of things everything at our smartphone just and if you know somebody's real name uh, place of living and the uh, date of birth it's already enough to do any kind of bad manipulations right and 
another tip here is um, why you should share something like that with the person you never met before. It's still not that much real. So never exchange, never show that much. So be, of course, um, a real person. It's no need to lie or to pretend or to cheat. Uh, just be a little bit cautious and uh, to say real name, not a problem. But second name even not always can be a case. And if we go deeper yeah, with every new personal detail, like phone number, place of living... Guys, it's not what decent women will want to know about you to, to check you. They decent woman doesn't need this information about you. It will come in natural way after meeting and after increasing relationship if you will even come to this point. But before, no sense from this information to a woman. So it should be a big red flag to you if she wants to know these things about you like where you live and what is your address what is your like real name she already have your phone number it's not really it's not far from a scam of a bigger size sounds like way too much risk just remember most people are still meeting online now you just have to be careful i mean a lot of happy couples who met online on dating sites and this next tip will also help protect yourself and it's one you probably haven't consciously thought of, number one. And then I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. Use a reputable dating site or app. There are tons of new dating sites and dating apps with all kinds of niche markets, but you want to avoid using those free and new sites and opt instead for more reputable, well-known sites that have better security measures to protect you. You want to know you can report a suspicious account and it'll be taken seriously. And don't hesitate to block or report any woman you find suspicious. Okay, now the bonus tip actually ties in to the real life scam stories I mentioned at the beginning. Bonus tip, trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right, no matter how badly you want it to be right, Trust your gut. If it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. If you have a bad feeling about her, no matter how charming or sexy she is, trust your gut. It's located a little higher than the other area that's at telling you to ignore those red flags. And don't feel terrible if you have succumbed to one of these scammers. They are professionals. It's happened to many a smart man. Example, businessman met a businesswoman. She was in financial investment, owned her own home in Vancouver. Everything seemed legit. After getting to know each other for quite a long time, she eventually offered him an investment opportunity. It was a too good to be true deal, but he was cautious. He only put a little bit of money in. And guess what happened? No, he actually got his money back with a really nice return. So then what happened? She offered him another investment. This time he put a little bit more in. Guess what happened? Some of you might have guessed. He got another good return. Ah, but each time he kept putting in more until eventually he put in over $5 million. And that's when things went awry. There was a snag in the investment and his funds were tied up indefinitely. Ouch. Turned out she had a bunch of fraudulent mortgages on that house that was hers. Did he go bankrupt? I'll tell you what happened at the end. Now I know you may be scared off dating entirely, but again, online dating is where most people are meeting nowadays. And here's the thing, and this ties into the bonus tip. All these victims that I know all said there were red flags right from the beginning that they chose to ignore, either because of hope or greed or simply loneliness. They got sucked in. They allow themselves to be sucked in. So if you watch for these seven red flags and these ways to avoid being scammed and online dating, then you should be safe. And if you do want to consider online dating options, then you might want to consider getting my online dating video program. It's only $10 and has a few short videos covering the most common mistakes men make online, how not to do them, and how to initiate and carry on a conversation starting online. Guys, my total respect to Anna, the author of this video, and uh, I believe this is a great tips for you. 
and great points when you should pay your attention and be suspicious. Don't get you know into this mode when you suspicious into every word everything just make your conclusions trust your gut be confident secure man for yourself first if it sounds to be good to be truth um i don't know it, you that's fine if you will create some shit test that is fine but if you able to deliver this shit test in a proper manner uh, and uh, the lady shouldn't find out this, of course, because if a decent woman will uh, admit that you should test in her, it can be not pleasant and you can uh, scare away a good woman. So great tips. Uh, and uh, at least at the beginning, you just uh, need to be aware of such warnings of those red flags. And guys, I completely understand that it. it's so easy to fall into fantasies and uh, to have a great wish to believe that uh, you met someone special. And it can be truth if you are mature enough, wise enough about your choice, if you are searching at a good, uh, trustful place, if you mm -hmm. can uh, see the feedback reaction and uh, if you have those red flags just should be a little bit more careful and probably yeah it's time for some shit testing and of course you can check and find out everything at a real meeting uh if you're ready for this come to meet her see her reaction if she agreed for this meeting so find out about this communication because it's a lot of things so when you need to be in touch to organize this trip together uh, and uh, yeah, social media will help you a lot, networks. Yeah, you will find out probably a lot. Mm, and you will have better picture. After a real meeting, you will understand. So if she is with you, guys, it's very difficult to fake your feelings. So if she is into you, it would be visible. If she is just a fake, just a player, just being polite to spend time with you, she will be limited about her time. She will be very reserved. She will try to keep distance. That is a major indicator. So just move on. No, no excuses. It's just not your woman. She's not into you. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Even if she is a real woman, she can be not into you as well. So still, anyway just accept that you are not your type of man and don't waste your time and resources um, so you have plenty of tips how to figure out if woman is into you how decent she is just use guys okay i will put my stream yard link to the chat for you if some of you want to share any story if you have you're welcome if you have any scum experience so you can share here, you can prevent the same experience for other people, plus to your karma. What, what? Привет, Жаночка. Hello to you. Good evening. Jack, as well. Good evening to you. Happy New Year. Andy, nice. Good evening. Rest of people chat as well. Thank you. Feliz Año Nuevo, Jana. Thank you. Happy New Year to you, Gregory. Thank you for being at my live stream. And here as well. Nice. Happy Wednesday, Jana, and everyone. Nice to hear, to see you. Juan Antonio, good evening, Janetka. I don't like red flags. <laughs> Hello, Juan. Of course, nobody might like them and uh, need to be mature enough and wise men with uh, some life experience uh, to recognize those red flags. And uh, if uh, you even first time at international space about international dating, here we are for you guys to show you, to help you how you can admit and recognize those red flags. Red flag, always a red flag. If sounds too fantastic as well, it's a red flag because uh, perfect people doesn't exist and uh, all of us quite selfish and want to pursue in our own goals uh, so woman on some point she will be the same uh, reserved or suspicious to you to find out are you a good match uh, so difficult to imagine that everything would be just completely 
compatible, completely nice. So some miss things you, you will have. It's natural. Uh, if she agrees with everything, literally everything, it might be suspicious. Uh, if um, you receive a lack of information as well, it would be even bigger red flag. Of course, you need to find this out. And not to waste your time and money and wrong hopes. Porfirio, shalom. <laughs> Hello to you. Shalom. That would be helpful five, five years ago for me. I understand, but um, I hope you learned your lessons not in a very expensive way. I, I just hope so. I don't know your story. Uh, if you have something to share, you are welcome to give any kind of tips to guys, at least if you can uh, mention main patterns of scammers, yeah, which can be helpful to guys to recognize them. And Jana, all she said are correct. A very basic guide to protect from low quality women or relationship scammer. Absolutely, I agree with every point. And uh, at, at the start, it would be already enough to uh, skip to filter uh, bad apples. But still, uh, there are some upgraded cameras which are more difficult to recognize. They are like using, um, they like pretending to be a decent lady for a long time, no, not asking for anything, declining some stuff for, at the beginning. And then, but if it is a long term, it's a question to you, how you could agree for these long term relationships without meeting in person. So it's different type of story and scam. Bill as well. Glad to see you. Hello, Privet Jana. Hi. Peter, hi to you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Oh, this is horrible, but I don't think that even can exist nowadays. Guys, who can pay for communication even without understanding are you compatible somehow? Some women take part of agency. Can be, why not? What what missing wallet is the uh, the list of the person's worries if they make up with a throbbing headache, especially in South Africa. What? <sighs> <laughs> what what Jana Moslow to build this breach of trust it's part of Ukrainian culture right people being more reserved and need time to warm up to someone absolutely and it's not like months of uh, checks and tr you know to build this bridge uh, so on distance probably but in reality of course it depends uh, on your behavior on your qualities and your actions so if you already met in reality so date by date uh, woman can um, become warmer and can feel her level of excitement about you and it's normal when every date you will be closer to to level up okay but on distance of course yeah it can be very exciting communication but still uh, good decent women they will prefer to stay a little bit more reserved so it's guys it's absolutely not typical that a woman will give you compliments a lot of compliments uh, we consider it's uh, like a feminine feature uh, I mean that a woman should receive compliments but if a woman will compliment sometimes it's nice to admit some good qualities of a man uh, to his appearance or to his qualities, to his lifestyle or, I don't know, communication skills can be appropriate. 
but it's not something what you will receive constantly. Oh, you're so nice. You're so adorable. I'm so into you. Guys, it's not typical. Our ladies don't do that. Even if this, if they feel this way, even if the lady is really exciting, she most likely will not share that much about her feelings, at least at the beginning, until it would be um, still she want you to follow this man's role, being an initiator and being this hunter who chasing a woman. But our woman doesn't chase a man. How about always going one for one? Everything she is asked for you, you want to hear to answer same question. And it's not necessarily a rule, can be, but at the same time, if always this ping pong communication, it can look like a shallow minded communication. Um, if you really find this question interesting, you can ask uh, reverse, yeah, like. What about your something in zone of interest or something else? If uh, you find this, you can answer some questions. But if you, it's not that much important for you to know about this about lady. You can ask another level of questions, more deep, and it's as well accepted if from both sides you will be quite reserved about certain things certain depends on the way so if you can see too much mystery it is a red flag if on some direct questions about especially like direct personal questions especially if you sometimes guys can be a bit rush in the uh, flirting communication or intimate communication so then women can be a bit more reserved right and uh, or to skip your question or to answer in some tricky way like she answered to you but at the same time she wasn't uh, very clear right it depends on area of question like can be but at the same time mm, better when you will have your personal deep questions which are important and based on your questions she as well will judge about your personality how deep personality you are what kind of qualities you have what level of intelligence you have at least it tells a lot from the way you communicate and from your questions guys here is my stream yard link if any of our viewers right now want to join and share their story you're welcome of course Mark, hello to you. Happy New Year, dear Jean and friends. Glad to see you. Good evening. Vicky, Happy New Year. Hello to you. Happy New Year, guys. Yes. Are there some form... Super politica. Are there some form uh, of red flags that should be ex uh, acceptable just due to cultural differences? Yeah, that is why we're trying to explain you cultural things that some things really um, you just need to learn. Uh, but as well, what you not everything what you can learn from internet, uh, it can be just a, um, stereotypes, myths which are which can be fake so guys for uh in on this case i will show you promotion to udtv channel ukraine date and that tv where you have uh, a real opportunity to communicate face to face with a real ukrainian woman and can find out these things uh, we have definitely a lot of cultural differences and when you're aware of them uh you know that Okay, this is a taboo question. Uh, this is typical feature for this culture, for behavior. Um, at least, I don't know for you, but reverse to my culture. Not appropriate question from a foreign man can be a red flag to me, okay? I will consider this as a red flag, as non-compatibility. Uh, so I believe it can work reverse as well. So learn about culture. 
but learn from a um, right source, decent, legit source. Today, it's completely free for you to have a video date face-to-face -face with beautiful Eastern European women of all ages and walks of life. Oh my god, <laughs> that's it, I'm all yours. So I, I brought flowers. Wow, it's so beautiful. With makeup or no makeup, hair up, hair down, you always look great. Thank you. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions. Okay, so we will see you live over at ukrainedating.tv. Guys, you can go to this channel and you can learn about culture from a uh, first hand, okay? For free. <laughs> so you will you can have some perks. If you serious at least about your intention to date and to build the relationship with the Slavic women, yeah, you can learn how it possible during work conditions, uh, what is typical major behavior for average women. It's very different from uh, what majority of you had uh, experience from dating sites. We get lots of scares on normal dating sites like Tinder. Usually Asian girls trying to befriend you and then hit you with the trading experience and uh, how much money they make and they keep telling you about crypto. By the way, good point of view. You remind me about uh, one more tip uh, from video we saw before. Uh, guys, I'd, with your story, um, I don't think that uh, you can mix your private life and um, business any kind of investment everything what leads to investments money until you met in person and build certain relationships if it is your current girlfriend and you already in decent real relationships for a while for a few months dating and uh, like have these feelings then yes sure it would be nice if your lady can help you with your business with your work uh, bring you any kind of new ideas to encourage you for something else can happen but if you communicate in online i don't think it is a good idea to mix business and personal relationship um yes and crypto scam is as well a huge um a bunch of scamming and people losing a lot of money with that uh, so this should be like a huge red flag for you if a woman online who um supposed to searching for her love uh will offer something about business opportunities to you to invest somewhere to bring you any kind of things no guys no 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 Okay, one uh, on other side, they ask for your contact information straight away. It's obvious to spot when they delete their profile not long after. As well as a, a red flag, guys, Ukrainian woman will not be an initiator. She will not uh, come to you first day and say, oh, let's go to WhatsApp, no need to stay here. Uh, you should be the one who need to offer. Yeah, she can agree easily and still she can be a scammer. But when you first receive this request from a woman, it is a red flag. I don't think that a woman prefer to take this initiative on their shoulders. What about VK crypto advertisement bots are also active on YouTube. They post a comment on a popular video about crypto and the other uh, bots follow up and create a chain. Yeah, yeah, you need to be aware of different uh, sort of schemes. Same with stock markets. Andy, what would you as Ukrainian woman see as red flags in foreign men? Um, in foreign men, in general, like with any man, foreign, Ukrainian, any communication on distance, for example, when a man uh, Russian with any kind of uh, too much flirting, like a, even not flirting, if some intimacy, intimate topics, um, 
uh, questions to personal questions like to to deep questions uh, about money for example as well uh, like many things which uh, you can discuss only with a person you can trust to so for the beginning it would be a red flag so you need to build this trust to earn this trust step by step and from person which you never met before to talk about many like very private topics it would be a red flag so what else of course when a man talking about large experience of dating and comparing you and sharing with you a lot of details like oh i had this or this or this um as well it is a red flag or he's a blah blah man and uh just throwing show offs or if all this truth so um, red flag yeah so why you need this man you probably will be just a number for this kind of man so this is what pops up at my mind first Okay, I once had a communication with a lady on Ukraine Cupid, the scam site. We have this at our 99 scam list. We spoke for a few weeks and wanted to meet. She missed her flight and wanted to fly tickets and send fake passport photos to uh, prove to pay my, me back. That's unfortunate story. Uh, guys, it is difficult to receive a guarantee when you set in a real meeting and scammer can play to the end as you could see in the past uh here at this channel videos from indicate uh they as well can play till the end okay i will meet with you are you there i am there where are you i can see you yeah so they pretending like they came to meeting and uh everything will pop up but i believe that they had plenty of red flags before but first and uh, best tip is uh, your smv difference and age difference uh if this communication too good to be truth if you um, didn't have that level of women before and don't know how to communicate how to deal with that type of women with that age of women with that uh, social place of women um then why this woman suddenly bought this and started this communication with you so it might be a, red, a lot of red flags before it really can happen and as well as i mentioned before uh, before you will meet in person you will discuss so much details it doesn't come just from one side and woman as well plus or less involved uh, or at least guys i don't know even how to bring this so if i will receive such request for me it would be even suspicious probably that someone checking me just because i don't even have such a, such intentions but at least you can i don't know in normal communication a woman will even be glad to share with you like show you i don't know flight tickets if she if you're gonna meet at some other country uh, some middle area between your country and ukraine because now we have a war or train tickets or something yeah you can check all this information um online does such um train or bus or whatever exist she can show you tickets by your request it would be quite suspicious and even cheap for lady if you will ask this proofs but uh, if you're not sure, I don't know what other tip I can bring to you. To send uh, money ahead for tickets. I don't think it is a good idea just because what kind of guarantees you have that she will use this money for tickets and will show up. You can um, at least offer to be a gentleman and okay, like come there and I will be glad to cover or to pay for your tickets but when we will meet right not not ahead just be a little bit more wise mature adult don't put yourself in these awkward situations so be a gentleman but don't be a foolish 
Uh, Joel, alarms in Odessa. Hope Maria will be safe. What, Maria? Do you have any communication with the lady from Odessa? Yes, we have alarms every day at each city, a few times per day. It's normal part of our life, and uh, last days is very tough in Ukraine for big cities such as Kiev, uh, Kharkiv, and others, a lot of others. Odessa as well. Yeah. Not good time praying for safety of all people. Uh, Andy, with the SMV calculator, I had one Ukrainian who got angry at me because I said I don't believe her intention as she was look-wise way out of my league. But she said not all women go for supermodels. Uh, Andy, I'm not sure I understood your message completely. You passed your SMV calculator and why some person was mad on you where where you passed this SMV with match guarantee SMV calculator or some other. And um, she said not all women go for supermodels, not all women or not all men go for supermodels. Sorry, a bit confused with your message. Mm, certain equality can exist like uh, a woman can be attracted to not handsome men but if a man not handsome and big age gap it's already like not much likely right so can be or age gap but with a good looking person uh, when a man keep uh, himself in a good shape uh, in a good life position uh, that can nivellate uh, the difference or when a man is not good looking but has a really manly skills qualities like he's very masculine he's a good position at life he's not good looking but for women is not um, the most important if you really masculine and can protect provide all these main basic needs Mm -hmm. So it's a big calculator from Joe. So how any woman could be mad on you? You don't in, in, interact with anyone there. So you could brought your SMV point to some woman, but we don't have SMV calculator for women. Or we have. I'm not sure. But uh, there was plus 10 year age gap and looked way too beautiful. 10 years, this is fine. Depends. Plus 10, 10 years is 15, 10 plus, 10 plus is uh, 19 or 11. <laughs> so I didn't believe she would be into one like me. If you don't believe, then she's not for you, right? Because you already don't believe in your success, and women will feel this. She said she was not seeking. A supermodel man, okay. Yes, but this is truth that our women will not seek in for very handsome guy. And if you have any kind of uh, imperfections, that can be accepted if you have good qualities and she will be treated well. So our women will fall in love with a man who can treat her well. This is more important. The way how you behave towards her, towards other people how interesting and intelligent you are, how stable you are, um, how secure you are. Many things multiply factors. And this SMV from Joe shows a lot of sides. Yeah. Still, it's, uh, it's just for your understanding. Are you two way out of league or are you plus or less um, acceptable? So if you're somewhere in the middle, that is fine for men, guys. Hey, um, thank you for being with me today. I hope this new stream was useful for you to help you to find out more, to learn more. The last message, Andy, about this topic. But well, this was in introduction stage. So she just said, I looked your profile and uh, you interest me. Andy, what profile, where, where you was? at which side it was. And if you brought to a woman um, like your SMV points where you could get your SMV points, scores, 
and uh, if you will bring this at the beginning on the introductory stage to compare like okay i am five you are eight i don't think that you can be into me if you already don't think so what the purpose to contact this lady and to discuss even so you already lose probably at the beginning so or you sure about um even guys you don't even probably understand this but many of you can court a woman higher smv that you have if you're confident and sure about your actions if you know how to approach this woman uh this smv uh not always an indicator if you know what to do what kind of actions to to do ah international international cupid sorry wrong message that was international cupid way before i talked with you ah so our you checked our smv okay you cannot compare ahead uh, i mean at the introductory introductory stage like i am like five or four mm -hmm. and you are eight or ten even so uh what the purpose then what the goal if you text into her of course she will agree with you and argue and will will be mad so she already see and feel your insecurity that you don't find yourself equal um but of course on international cupid she will prove you in any way that you're nice for me i'm scammer i accept any man who pays for this communication okay guys all for now thank you be wise be safe